okay. All right. I'm putting cases on all you bitches. Huh? You think you can do this shit? Jay! You think you can do this to me? Thing that's plastic is these. I was like, nah, it won't be a problem because there's no pressure. Well, it's not the fact that there's pressure like the rails, but now the fact is the same damn screws that I hate are all back on all of them.
like to daily drive a uh, 2001 Ford Mustang with the 4R70 transmission, the automatic. And as for the gears, if you guys haven't seen that one video I made about the transmission, I mean the you guys haven't seen the video I did with the differential I'm talking about the gearing I'm like 90 to 95 percent certain this car has a like a modified rear end I'm thinking as a 373 gearing because the miles per hour to the rpm basically matches all the gears that I've seen on a, on a video that this guy did comparing all the differentials and what uh what speed it'll leave yeah at every certain rpm and this car matched up everything to the 373s. And as for uh, tire diameter, it's only about a half an inch to an inch taller than the OEM spec. So these aren't super tall tires. So I doubt the tires make that huge of a difference to make it from you know stock form to make it look like a 373. I think it probably is a 373. Um, even though I saw the tires, I don't think it really made a difference. Because this car feels super aggressive for the age. Like, compared to the Genesis that had, you know, 429 horsepower bone stock with the 8-speed, dude, this thing feels, I don't know, a bit more aggressive on the first gear. And the other one had a pretty, pretty short gear for first gear. It kept spinning, and I struggled. Even with these 295s that were on the Genesis, I still struggled to get grip, so uh, doing pretty good on this car. Yeah, that's right, you better walk away. Go on, walk away, because I'm going to burn this motherfucker down. 